Okay, so it's me, Lissy. It is Friday, February 14th, and um, I wanted to show you a few new beauty items that I got. So I know um, I've talked to you before about my um, my makeup friend, Danielle, that works at um, Neiman Marcus at the Lancome counter here in Boston. And I think one of you lovely ladies even went in to see her recently, which is so nice. Um, so a couple things. I went in to see her today and I got a whole bunch of new stuff that I'm going to try. So I wanted to just show you that. I haven't tried it yet, but I will and I'll keep you posted once I've like, you know, used it. Um, but in the meantime, I just wanted to show you the new in items. And then um, I also wanted to ask you guys, you guys, ladies, people, ladies and gents, I guess, a question. This is more directed towards the ladies, I'd suppose. But um, so when I was talking to Danielle, I said, you know, maybe it would be fun if we did a little like event here with um, my YouTube friends. So I guess my question to you all is this. If we did an event at Neiman's at the Lancome counter, would, A, would you come? Like, would you be interested in something like that? Um, if so, what would be your timing preference? Like weekday day, weekday evening, weekend? Um, and is there anything in particular you'd want to like focus on? Um, Cause I'm sure Danielle could put together a little like, you know, I don't know, new products, you know, new makeup for fall, you know, a variety of things. So let me know in the comments, what in the comments below, what you think about that. And um, I'll also put Danielle's um, Instagram username if you want to like follow her and you know she posts a whole bunch of stuff. I mean she posts makeup stuff but she also posts a bunch of other stuff. But if you wanted to contact her you can um, let me know and I can give you her number because um, she can also always help you from afar even if you're not in the Boston area. But if you are you know and you wanted to go in and see her um, you certainly could do that. So. I guess I will start with the first thing I got is this thing. No. So this is called the Lancome Absolute Lextract. I think it's like a Absolute Lextract Ultimate Beautifying Lotion. And I made some notes. Oh, so Danielle told me this you should use like first thing in the morning, it's this is like a big bottle. Here is the info. And it's actually like a spritz. And so you use this first thing in the morning before like any makeup, you spritz it on your face. And it's a hydrating mist with rose water. Um, so that is item number one. Okay, item number two is the Lancome Visionaire Skin Correction, Skin Corrector, Skin Corrector, Advanced Skin Corrector. Okay, so here it is. And this is a little like um, pump because this is a serum. She told me to use this like after the spritz, but before I moisturize to use this serum, skin correcting serum to make pores less visible. Um, so that's item number two. And then item number three, I should use at night. It's like a serum. It's the BN5 Multivital Daily Replenishing Oil. So this is a little like, you know, one of these serum droppers. Oh, that smells nice. Um, for hydration and softness. And the, the, this brightens and hydrates, supposedly. I also looked all this stuff up on Sephora and it seemed to have, most of it seemed to have gotten pretty like decent reviews. So those are the three skincare items that I got today. And so I'm going to try them and let you know. Um, you know, I do tend to, like some of these things, if you look at the review, I'll put links, but if you look at the information like on Sephora about some of this stuff, it tells you generally what skin type it's for. I forget which of these things, but a bunch of them were for pretty much like all skin types. Um, but okay, so that's number three. Number four, which I am especially excited about, is this 
Miracle Cushion. It's like a cushion foundation, and I got it in number 310 Bisque C. And this is basically, this is one of these, like, I've never tried any of these cushion foundations, and it comes with, like, a little, this is, the um, this, there, there is a, you can get a little holder for it that makes it look nicer, I don't have it, but, um, you kind of use this, tap it, and put it on, but I have, because in the summer, I haven't really been using full, like, in the winter, I tend to use more full coverage foundation, but in the summer, I'm really just kind of, I have been using my Tom Ford foundation stick, like mostly just here, here, and here, and so I feel like this will do the same thing. This is, what do they say about this? A lightweight hydrating formula, and that's definitely good for me because I need all the hydration I can get. So um, that I'm very excited to try. And then I got a new lip gloss. This is in number 162. I don't know what the name is, but can you see this? There. And um, that's the gloss. And these glosses, like, look at how cool. You just click that and it pops right up. Yeah. It smells pretty. That's nice. I'll, I haven't tried it yet. Um, oh yeah, I forgot you don't have to do it because you just click it. And then lastly, I told you all I had gotten a sample of this Monsieur Big, Mr. Big mascara. And um, I didn't know it was out yet because when I had been looking online, like for example on Sephora, it said, you know, if you want an email when it's, you know, when it arrives, let us know. And I didn't know it was available, but lo and behold, there it was. So I bought myself one. Um, and I have just been loving this mascara. I've been using my little sample every single day, so I'm psyched to now get the full size. Because you may know that my favorite mascara has been the Tom Ford mascara, which is $45. And I've been struggling to find something that I like as much in the more like, you know, $25 price range. This is $25. So I'm very excited that I now have the um, full size of this. Um, so I think that is it on my new beauty items. I am, what have I been doing today? I went to the gym. Yeah, you know, I basically, I went to the gym. Oh, I had to deal with like an insurance issue. So I was yapping on the phone about that for a while. And then I, um, like I made breakfast and got myself dressed. I went to Neiman's and got all the, this stuff from Lancome. And then um, I went and got my bangs trimmed. They were getting a little long, and I'm going to South Carolina next week, so I wanted to I wanted to trim them before I went. And then I'm going out tonight with my friend Nicole, um, which will be very fun. We are going to a restaurant called Bar Mezzana. Uh, yeah, so that's it. And perhaps I will show you my getup before I go out with Nicole. Um, what time is it? Yeah, actually, I gotta start getting ready soon. I gotta. I didn't put on a lot of makeup today, so I definitely need to refresh the makeup and gussy up. So I'll do that and then check in before I mosey. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so I'm back and I'm ready for the evening. And I thought I would just check in and tell you. Well, one thing I forgot to tell you also, I got a new eyeshadow, Lancome eyeshadow base today. This is the... Um, I guess number three is the color. And it's a really, like, I tried out the consistency. It's a really nice, like, consistency. It's just a really nude, like, base color. I always, I don't know if it really does anything, but I always use an eyeshadow base. And I've for a long time used the MAC eyeshadow bases. And mine are, like, at the tail end of, like, I need to get rid of them. Um, so I'm going to try the Lancome one and see how I like it. But I meant to show you that, and it, I think it fell on the floor in my pile of stuff from before. So um, I thought I would just show you the get up. And for the life of me, I was gonna wear, remember my work people got me a new Chanel necklace? I, I don't know what I, I can't find it. But anyway, this is a Chanel necklace that my sister gave me, I think for Christmas or my birthday. So I'm wearing this. This is a St. John jacket that I don't think you've seen yet. And I, you've seen yet. And for the record, despite the fact that it's mid-July, it feels like fall. It's 60 degrees and cloudy out. So um, 
it's a little chilly. Like, I actually, I had on a little short sleeve, like, sweater. Not, not really sweater. Like, a knit, one of the CH Carolina Herrera knit tops that I have. And I was a little chilly in that. So, I figure I'll throw on this little jacket. So, I'm just wearing this little jacket, um, a Vince top, some AG jeans. These are the new um, cost shoes that I got. I can't decide if I should wear... I don't really feel like wearing sandals. Um, I know I feel a little fallish. I figure this jacket brightens me up a little in my Gucci Marmont bag. So that is the getup. It's possible I could change the shoes, but they're comfortable and I'm going to walk there. It's probably a 10 minute walk to where I'm meeting my friend Nicole, so I'll probably just keep these on. Cause, well, I guess I could put on a pair of flats too. We'll see. Um, but that's all to report for now. See you soon. Bye.